Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with the day four scrap lift in uh, Scrap Squad's 12 days of springtime scrap lifts. And this is the original and it's by an amazing scrapper and I'm sure I'm going to butcher her name, Yarelis Rodriguez Perez. And she does absolutely some of my favorite pages ever. This one is uh, all about springtime, and it's a, a photo of her with her spring flowers. A um, couple pieces, whoops, couple pieces of paper. Not much, you know. Kind of a, a large, impressive title and some florals, and some circles, and some splatters, and some sequins, and some butterflies. So we'll see how far we can get with, um, with all of those goodies. I have, uh, for my two stripes, strips of paper, I'm going to use these, which are scraps from my scrap backwards kit and i'm gonna put this black and white one right there this one came in two pieces because uh, i had cut it for something else but i'm going to piece it together and then embellish on top of it so that you can't really tell that that cut was made I just have to put it back together the right way, I think. There we go. You can hardly tell even right now. So the photo I'm going to use is this one of Reese. I have filtered it. I finally got my Prisma um, filter working again. It's been on the blink for a few days, and I deleted it and reloaded it, hoping that that doesn't void my subscription, but it seems to be working fine. So I can put this right here and maybe lay the photo that way so that there's a little bit of the white paper showing under it and a little bit of the striped paper showing under the frame. But what I want to do is kind of set where my title's going to go. I'm going to put it entirely, because it's vellum, I'm going to put it entirely on the white part, and then I'll do some embellishing to the side of it. But I thought I would take a one of these vellum flowers... I guess I could do it that way. Up like that. I might just like to have it on the paper underneath. So I'm gonna put it down there and then I'll place the frame. I'll put it like so. So, and I think that allows me to put the frame like that. And I'm going to just adhere it. Mm. I did a no no. I pulled the end okay not this is not doing it <laughs> for me i'm gonna put i'll have to work on the wet glue i tried to take the pin out of it and it um it pulled the top off the pin. And that's, it left the pin in. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Okay. 
and then that is fairly stable. I'm going to put some foam behind here. Uh, let's see, I'll put a couple of small pieces. I'm going to line it up with the grid bit on there. Okay. And I have some other florals that I'm going to use that will seem completely out of character to the background papers. And I'm going to say that I don't care. And yet, as I look at it, I'm I'm not loving it. But I'm committed to it. Or I should be committed or something about commitment. I'm going to do this one. Maybe instead of florals there, or, or the large florals there, I might kind of, no, I don't like it. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this. and do it like that. That works for me. Um, and I can do some other embellishing around with it. And I can use this kind of right in there. Okay, and I have a, I think this is an, an a, some, oh, these are some oranges, and again, I'm not going to uh, get picky about the fact that uh, it makes no sense with the florals or with the photo. I mean, it's a silly, crazy dog who would um, in all likelihood um, play with oranges as, as soon as she'd play with anything. I, again, in the realm of something that doesn't make much sense, I have a drinking cup that I'm going to, it happens to have the same flower that I've used right there, and it kind of adds an, some orange color to the, to the whole scene here. Uh, these are some leaves that I cut the flower off of for my last layout. And I'm going to kind of put that right there. Um, I have this tab that says happiness. And I'm going to put that up top of the photo. And I'll start adding in the smaller embellishments. I guess that's okay. And what I could do right there 
is kind of sneak in a flare behind that. And I have some fabric leaves from Bramble Fox. And I thought I'd kind of slip those in. I'm just kind of going for, uh, I'm, I'm intentionally mixing up the floral uh, elements because I knew some of them weren't going to look, um, weren't going to necessarily uh, go with the photo or the colors in the photo. Let me do, I'm going to do that like that, and then I'll do this other one. right here okay and i have some circle bits to kind of insert in here this one just has flowers on it and i need to add as much blue as possible because there's no well there is this light blue i guess in here and put that back up. Um, I've got this one with the little, these little flowers. And this one I'm going to just put straight on um, because I want it to be, to go under these leaves and the leaves are kind of flat down. I've got this blue bit that says joy, and I'm thinking that can go right there, and I will put some foam on it. Okay, and then I've got this, you're special to me. I'll get some foam on that. I, I hunted around for all the circles, circle bits that had uh, sayings that were appropriate for the scene. And this silly little dog is special to me. And that kind of makes this an orangey side, right? but I have repeated the orange over here. There is no orange in the stripe, and so that's clearly um, an accent color. <laughs> and I have this orange flare that I'm going to add. I'm going to lift this up, and I'll place it right there there because there are so many circular elements in the original I'm I I'm using some of those I'm using flare for some of those this says chase your dreams and I think that would look kind of cute right here as part of the um, kind of part of the title cluster and it has the blue circle around it, so it works there. I've got this gold flare with different, like blue and yellow and black um, hearts. And so I'm going to maybe kind of put that right there. Let me get it under the leaf. I don't want to cover up. The leaf. Let's do that. And I might even tuck it under there. There you go. Okay, now some, I, I'm, I'm kind of looking at this ginkgo leaf 
and wondering if I can include it. I like that, yes. So I'll put the tape down at the part that's gonna kinda tuck under. Okay, I like the look of that. I have these glasses, the vellum uh, glasses. I don't think I'm gonna use them I'm, as things kind of went together. I also have these fabric hearts. And since she's lying on a pillow there, I kind of thought the hearts might work here. And they're, they're two-sided. These are from Bramble Fox. So I thought I'd do that. I kind of like that, and this one's going to go, and I'm going to see if my, the adhesive went on the fabric leaves really well, so now I'm going to try it on the fabric hearts. I love that one side is this darker red with the gold threads in it, and the other is the bright red. It, it kind of brings all the different reds together in the, um, I have this little house. I don't know if I need or want this house, but if I did, okay, I think this tag got a little bit askew. I thought maybe I'd just tuck it right in there. It's a bit of blue that kind of... Um, balances out and it's kind of cute. I think I'm going to put some foam behind it. This is a, an oddball kind of page that um, I would only do <laughs> for a picture of a silly dog. Okay, and I do not have this fixed yet. Let me see. If I can push the pen out this way, I better not do it over my page. I'm not, not having any luck there. So what I will do is I'm going to get a, let's try this stick. I'm gonna get a little glue on this stick and use that to apply it. That's how I used to do liquid glue anyway with a toothpick. Okay, so there, I've got that there. I'm going to put this one um, maybe down here on the black. And I'll do this blue one over here. And I have some little tiny flowers that I'm going to, and hearts, that I'm going to just spread around, kind of sprinkle around as if they were sequins. And I don't know or care what colors they are uh, when I put them down, so I'm just Sticking a little glue on them. And putting them on. And there's this little kind of red sunshiny thing. This I might care where it goes. I might want it here. Like sunshine shining on the house. Um,
if that works. These um, embellishments all came from the February and March um, Mind the Scrap kits. And so you can kind of tell all these hearts probably were in the February kit. And I'm thinking I'm thinking Doodlebug. Uh, let's see, where else do we want to go? Maybe I'll do that right there. I kind of wanted to use all of them. Here's another red based one. So I will probably put it over here maybe. There we go. You don't have to watch me suffer through all of this. I'm going to leave those and I'll put, if I decide I need them, I'll put them on. What I want to do now is add the butterflies and I have stickers for that. Let's see, where do I put that? I'm just going to lay it there. Um, I have this pink sticker that I'm going to use right there and let it overlap the title. And I have a yellow goldish one maybe right here. And I have this partridge which just definitely needs to be part of the scene, don't you think? Maybe right there. Uh, and I have another butterfly that's going to have to go like so. And I have a bird in flight that I'm going to put here. And I think I have, well, there are some tiny flowers that I will, and some hearts, um, maybe do that. Another little tiny flower over here. I love this rainbow, but I haven't. I'm going to go ahead and use this star. And I'll use this tiny flower. And there's another little heart right here. It can go there. And I'll leave that. But I think I have some small butterflies on another page. I do. Here's a yellow one and I'm going to do it, use it right here. And here is a pink one that I think I'll do right there. And I want to add a camera but I don't see a good place. It's a clear sticker, so it probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't work. I like this um, little word strip that says one of a kind, and I'm gonna kinda put it down at the bottom of that strip of paper. Um, I have some little leaf sprigs that might look cute over i like using those near flare and where's my other flare my other flare is up here and there's kind of tight space there okay and i'm going to use one behind 
this little sunshine here. Actually, I use two behind that. And I have one left. So I'm going to use it somewhere. How about right here? We'll double up there. Okay. And there's some little tiny birds, but I don't think I need them. Um, maybe one right there on the t tab. Okay, I'm done. It's a crazy, mixed up, goofy page, and I love it. Um, this was just a, a photo. One day, James was working, and she had to join him and help him work, and so he took a couple photos. I've already scrapped the other one, but I, uh, I wanted to do this one for this page. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> and I doubt you're going to get any um, reasonable or sane inspiration from this other than um, that I, I was, I've was i used up lots of, of um, supplies. I would have put these sequins on or a few of them sprinkled around um, because it would reinforce the blue color. But since my um, glue wasn't cooperating. I didn't do that. And I like these little things around there um, enough that I'm okay with just leaving them. So thanks for watching. Bye.